Hello, and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe Jewell, and today I'm going to be sharing five bold predictions that I have for the Tortured Poets Department. We are just a few weeks away from Taylor's next album, her 11th studio album. It's her 11th, right? I feel like I second-guessed myself there, but I'm pretty sure it's her 11th studio album. I can't believe it. It feels like she announced it a long time ago, and yet it also feels like she announced it yesterday. Like I'm, I feel like because Taylor hasn't done any promo whatsoever for this album, I sort of, I don't forget that it's coming, but I don't realize that it's just a few weeks away. I do wonder if she is going to do any promo for the album. Do we think she's just waiting until it's a couple of weeks out, the week before? I mean, let's be honest. She doesn't have to do any promo. If she doesn't want to do promo, she could drop an album out of thin air and it would do incredible and have amazing numbers. I also wonder if part of her reason to not promote the album so far in advance is because there's so many other artists that are putting out albums during this time. We, we've we already gotten the Ariana Grande album. We've got the Casey Musgraves album. We're getting the Beyonce album. There's just like a lot of music coming out in the next few weeks or so. So maybe I wonder if she's just kind of like a- allowing those artists to have their moment and then she's going to have her moment. We'll wait and see. Regardless, I felt like, you know what? I'm going to put out some bold predictions. I'm going to just... I just have some weird, I don't know if if they're like hot takes or opinions or feelings. I guess I just want to get them out there in case it comes true. Then I can say, hey, I said it first. Now, I do have to be honest. A lot of these predictions are subjective, okay? They are not objective predictions. They are more subjective predictions. So there's really no right or wrong answer necessarily, but I guess they're kind of more like a general consensus predictions. I feel like once I once I share them, you'll you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, I just want you guys to take that with a grain of salt. They are a tad subjective, at least some of them are. But let's just get into them, shall we? Okay, starting off with my first bold prediction, which is that So Long London, which is the track five song on this album, will be a top three track five song song of all time. Again, this is a subjective opinion or prediction because the reality is for some fans, this will be a top three track five song. This will be probably some people's favorite track five song. I guess I'm more so speaking about like the consensus among the fan base because I feel like, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, I feel like top two track five songs of all time for Taylor. And we did a video, I actually did a video about this a couple weeks ago, or maybe last week. So you can go watch that. I actually rank all of, the, all of her track five songs. But I feel like the general consensus is that All Too Well and Dear John are Taylor's best track fives. Again, it's not everybody, but like if you were to pull all the Swifties, I think those two would be at the top. And I think So Long London will be right underneath those two. If it surpasses those two, I will, I don't think I'll be shocked, but like that, it, it, it will take a lot for this song to be better than those two songs, but I think it's going to be a top three track five of all time. Like I, I think we're going to get, I, I have very high expectations, which maybe I shouldn't, but I really do. And I think this might be my fa- favorite song on the album. That's not my prediction, but I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, moving on to my second bold prediction, which is that Fresh Out the Slammer will be the lead single from this album. Now, this is an objective prediction. It, it, it will either be the lead single or it will not be the lead single. Here's why I feel like it will be. I did some research to kind of figure out, has there been any sort of trends in terms of the first single that Taylor puts out? We know that for the last, what has it been, three albums, basically, she's Put, she, she's only released the single once the album is out, right? It, I think it's been since Lover. Lover, she released me a few months before her album, even longer than a few months. I feel like it was like, I feel like she released me in like April and then Lover didn't come out till August. Like there was a long runway between the first single and the album. But ever since then, she's just like, here's the album. And then she announces the lead single off of the album. There, I, I was trying to see if there were any trends. So the first thing is that it's been a while since we've had, um, I guess it's been since Lover, that we've had a album that also has a song by the same name in 
Oh, I guess she had an she she had a song also called called Evermore in Evermore. Um, but my point is that she's never released if if an album has a song with the same title as the album title, it's never been the first lead single, right? She I think Red was a was a single, like maybe like the fourth or fifth single from the Red album, but it was not the first single. So to me, that means that the Tortured Poets Department song will not be the lead single, at least just like going off of history. But in terms of that, there's really no rhyme or reason. Like in terms of where the song lands in like the track listing, there's not really any sort of, there's no real pattern. Like Willow, I think was the first song on Evermore. um, And that was a single. Um, But then like Me was the lead single on Lover. And that was like track 16 or something. So there's not really anything that I can gain from like where it, where it might land in the track listing. But I feel like Fresh Out the Slammer is a, is such a juicy, good title. And it's kind of like, I feel like it kind of encapsulates and sort of like, um, it just like explains, I feel like the general theme of this album. I could be wrong. Obviously I haven't listened to it yet, but it's punchy. Like it's making a statement. It's saying something. I feel like it's going to be like a bop as well. And I feel like she tends to put, you know, the bop as the first single. I don't know. I just feel like this is going to be the lead single. And I, and I feel like because of the title and because the title is so punchy, I feel like it's going to make for a great music video, which is why I feel like it might be the first single. Totally going off of a hunch here, but that's my prediction. Okay. My third bold prediction is that she will release more songs that she hasn't announced yet. So we know obviously the official track listing, and then we know that there's going to be these bonus tracks on these different versions of the album that people can buy. That's all been announced. I still think there's going to be more music that she will put out that we don't know about yet. Whether that is similar to what she did with Midnight when she did the 3am version and she had a whole new, you know, set of songs that she put out uh, in conjunction with the official album. I don't know, but I I just feel like I, I get the sense that Taylor probably couldn't stop writing. And she knew she had to make a cutoff at some point for like the official album. And so she did. But I still think that there's probably so much other music that she was working through and producing and writing that she's going to want to put out. So I'm saying she's still going to put out new, like another set of songs. I don't know where or when or how. That's just the feeling I I have. And maybe that's because I feel like she's always surprising us in these interesting ways, but I think we're still going to get more. Okay. My fourth bold prediction is that the Florence and the Machine collab is going to be better than the Post Malone collab. I love Post Malone. This is not a slight on Post Malone at all. I just feel I the... And this is, I'm totally just making an assumption. Again, we don't know what these songs are going to sound like yet. I think the Post Malone song will be like fun and kind of vibey, but maybe not as deep. Whereas I feel like the Florence and the Machine song is going to be like a dagger through the heart. That's what I'm inferring. And I just think I will like the Florence and the Machine song better. Again, this is a subjective prediction because... There will be people who like the post one better than the Florence one and vice versa, but I'm I'm basing it off of, I guess, my feeling. So I will let you guys know once the album is out, which one I like better and if I feel like the prediction was right or wrong. So I guess it's only up to me to decide whether or not this is true. Um, and then my final bold prediction is another subjective one, but again, it's just like this gut feeling I have, which is that the song, I Can Fix Him, No Really I Can, will be the fan favorite song off the album. Again, it's going to be hard to like totally figure out if this is accurate or not, but I was thinking about like Lover and Cruel Summer so clearly being the fan favorite of that album, right? Like I think that's the consensus is that is the song that everyone loves off of Lover. All Too Well, I think is very much the fan favorite song off of Red. I feel like a lot of these albums have just that that song that everyone kind of gets behind and really loves and supports. And I feel like for this album, it's going to be, I can fix him. No, really, I can. Again, I don't really know why. I think it's just like what I'm, what I'm feeling the song is going to give us, um, the material the song is going to give us. 
And again, it's just like a, it's just a, um, a feeling I have. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see if this is true. So those are my five bold predictions. I would love to know in the comments what your predictions are for the album, what you think is going to be the lead single off of this album. Let me know in the comments. Do you think I'm way off base on any of my predictions? Please share all of that. As always, make sure to subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.